Hi everyone, it's the Gopher here again. Um, I'm going to show you how to get Mo Creatures 5.0.4 running on a Minecraft 1.5.1 server. Okay. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to grab the latest um, server file, the server jar. So come here, and this is at Minecraft.net. Okay and go to download just here and at the bottom you'll see minecraft server jar please don't get the exe because the exe up here is only for uh, using with vanilla you can't open the, the exe file and dump in forge etc so you can't actually mod that this is the one you get down here okay the minecraft underscore server dot jar okay so grab that one then come to the Mo Creatures um, forum and come down. This is cool. I love this with the dragons, the new com the uh, the new wyverns, and the new dimension, which is incredibly cool. And grab. Don't forget, you're now on the the new style of of Minecraft, um, so you don't need to have client and server. Okay, so it's universal. So grab the Mo Creatures, the 5.0.4, grab the Forge, which is 771611, okay. You do not need a GUI API. We've had people, I've had people in the um, YouTube, in my YouTube channel, who insist on putting this in and it craps and they go like, oh, why doesn't it work? is because you didn't watch the video. Lots of people reply in my video channel without watching the video. And they ask questions that I tell them how to do in the video and it gets on my nerves so you'll probably find that you either get a terse reply or no reply at all. Because if you can't be bothered to watch the video after me spending a lot of time and effort making it, then you won't get my help. And lastly you'll need the custom mob spawner. Okay. Now, let me just actually grab this. See, this is live, eh? This isn't like made up stuff. Um, let me just grab this. I'll download it, save it, and we will make a folder on the desktop and we will call it Mose. Now, I'm not sure if you can actually see that. I think you can. Okay, so I'll make I'll put it up. There you go. You can see it there. So we'll grab our Minecraft server jar. It's that's just downloaded, and we'll drop it in there. Okay. Now you can just right-click that and run it. Okay. And if you do that, it will make your um, world, etc., etc. But if you open it, like you do with single player. And don't don't delete meta infant here, by the way. Otherwise, you'll have nothing working anywhere. Okay. And open up your Minecraft Forge that you downloaded. Drop all of that into there. What we've done by doing that is we have modded the vanilla Minecraft server, which means that when you run it it will make the folders for the mods okay so let's run it so you right click it open with and the java tm platform okay and it should then bring you up this lovely little interface it says sorry my pc is a little bit slow so it might not come up straight away um, it is running it's just not showing itself yet as you can see by the core mods. Come on my poor PC, I know I've got lots of things running. Here we go. Okay. So what that will do, don't forget, as I say in all of my videos, it will say warning, failed, failed. The only reason why it's spitting out the failed is because these files weren't there before, so it's made them. Okay. Now don't forget there's your mods, there's your core mods. Those will not be there 
if you don't run this with your um, forge inside. Okay, so that's done now. What we can do is go stop, and that will now stop that, and it will get rid of the window. So now we have your um, your 1.5.1 server ready to go for mods. Okay, you put the forge in, and all you got to do now is just put the other two pieces in. Don't forget, there is no GUI. If you put GUI in and it blows up, it's your own fault because you didn't listen. Put in Dr. Zark's and custom mob spawner or CMS and run it again. So you come out of mods and you go to the server jar, you right click it, open with, and it will now run again. And let's open this up a little bit so you can see it a bit bigger. Don't forget, there's lots of people that still ask me this question. Don't forget, you must have Mo Creatures installed on your um, client or your, your own single player to be able to connect to this server. If you don't have it, it won't let you connect and you'll get an error saying what's wrong or what's missing. Okay, So that's now running. Now let's start Minecraft. I've already installed that. I did that on my single player earlier. Um, that video is up the same time as this one if you want to go and look at that to find out how to do it. So let me start up my Minecraft and hopefully we should be able to get that running. If we can't then I failed and I need to go back to the beginning and start again. But you won't know that because I'll just remake this without it uh, without you knowing that I screwed up badly. Okay. Poor, my poor machines. I only just got enough guts to be able to run both of these at the same time, I think. Okay, now I've got lots and lots of different things. There's my server. And we will go join server. And if there's anything wrong, it will now tell us what's wrong. This will now fail, and it will say, uh, you don't have this, or the server doesn't have that, um, and it will it, it will be expecting us to have it, but we don't have it. Um, and it will tell you exactly what's wrong. It will tell you if you've got the wrong version, or blah blah blah. Um, now let me just I'll, first of all I'll say sorry if you see my poor PC glitching out. Um, all I was doing, meow. I was just looking for Dr. Zark creatures just to see that it has spawned and everything's worked properly and... Okay, puss. Um, oh, there we go. Woohoo! Flies. Great. That's your fault. Horse dung, see? Loads of flies. Um, there we go. Works perfectly. So, don't forget. I will show you before we leave. I'll disconnect from there. Uh, I will show you how to change the spawn settings for your server. Okay, so that was me logging in. Blah blah blah. It will tell me if there's a problem if I don't have the um, the programs that are needed. It will say that in there too. So let's stop that. And inside your server folder you will find config. Inside your config you'll find two files, same as in the single file, in, in the single player file, okay? Biome groups. Now if you are running um, let's say biomes of plenty or something like that on your server, um, these have been put into specifics. So desert will include um, Badlands, Dunes, Lush Desert, uh, Cogmire, Explorer, blah, 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 blah. They all come under desert, okay? Now, this has all been done, so as you can now, as well as saying how you want your creatures to um, to spawn, as in how many in a group, you can also say where they're going to spawn, um, which is pretty cool. Um, so, down here, you'll see all of the different creatures and elephants will be in forest, normal or arctic um, enderman mobs so they are set by the, the game itself because they're, uh, they're mobs um, 
you've also got things like snakes. As you can see, these have even gone into the wyvern layer. So, I mean, you can do anything, anything you want. You can, I mean, if you want to, you can have ostriches in the wyvern layer if you really want to do that. Um, but the good thing about it is you can now say how many of each thing you want, how um, how frequent they're going to be, and how many they can be in a group. Okay. Now the easiest way to do this is actually to do it inside your single player, save, close, and then go into your config file in your .minecraft folder and grab out the properties CFG and drop it into your um, server config because it's exactly the same. If you want to do it yourself, you can. I mean, it's it's pretty simple. Big cats, the frequency is six, which means that they're, um, you know, quite frequent. And then you've got things where it's one pet scorpion, very very infrequent. And then you've got smallest amount of bears that there can be is one, largest group of bears is three. So bears are quite frequent and they they can be one, two or three will spawn. So if you've got a spawn point A in A, bears can have one, two or three spawn. It's pretty simple really. Um, and of course your general settings, which as I say, it's easier to set it up in, in single player um, and then save your game, close it down and copy it across into your WhatsApp, but you can do it yourself here. Okay, So that's your two files, properties and biomes. Now that is it, that is totally it. Nice and easy to do. Again, if you have any problems with getting it running, um, just post on my, um, my YouTube channel. If you have a problem with the workings of the mod itself, um, post them on Dr. Zark's Mo Creatures um, forum because I don't make mods, I just help people to get it running. Um, I'm not a genius, I wouldn't profess to be and never would, um, but I do like to try and help people out and get things running and I've been doing this for Dr. Zark now for nearly two years I think. Um, so he must like it, he must like me. We, we keep in contact um, and um, I'm quite honoured to um, have my videos on such an incredibly good mod, um, made by an incredibly good modder. So um, for me, it's um, it's a pleasure. So please don't forget, if you need help, ask for it. But please don't go and QQ in the forums. Um, just try and be nice, and everybody try and be nice to each other. Don't bite each other. Um, just try and help, even if it is somebody who is quite annoying. And we get a few of those. Don't so I'll leave you with it, um, take care of yourselves, enjoy the mod, the mod is, has just turned from great to stupendous, um, and if you get the chance, get into the forum and thank Dr. Zark, he put a ton of work in, so did Bloodshot, um, he, he put a lot of work into the spawning side of things, so uh, yeah, take call, take call, don't forget, if you like this, then please press the like key. If you didn't like it, I don't mind. I'm just doing the best I can. Press the dislike key. Um, if you want to um, get updates of when I bring a new video out for um, the next version, um, then you can always sub to me. Um, and I thank you for that. So go for signing out. Be good. Um, peace out. See ya.